everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be working on canva and i'm going to show you how i make my thank you cards that are business size for like my smaller packages so we're going to start with a three inch by two and a half inch dimensions and we're just going to go to the backgrounds that i already have i was looking for the right one that i wanted and i forgot that i moved it into a folder i had so just ignore me look through those Anyway, I just picked my, I got my background off of Google Images. It's like one of the free images, so whatever. Anywho, I ended up going with this white marble background. And once you pick the one you want, just select it. So you're just going to go ahead and set it as the background and it's going to stretch it out perfectly for you. Then we're going to go to elements and select one of the squares. I chose to do everything that was free in here for some people who don't have Canva Pro. I do. I love Canva Pro. I make templates and sell them on one of my Etsy pages. So of course, if you're ever interested and you don't do this process yourself, you can always check that out. I'll leave the descriptions in. I'll leave it in the link in the description box below. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I just changed my square into a white background and we're going to add text. So we're going to go and add text. We're going to add a heading. I use this font. I use two fonts all the time. Um, I think it's called Grissy or probably not. Probably not. <laughs> um, but anyway, I love that one. You'll see me select it though. You'll see them too. I select. I use them all the time. Um, the script I use is so pretty. I use it to like make things pop or when I just really want um when I just really want something fancier for my cards or anything like that. I'll use this font and then I use the other one for just like regular words because it's nice and clean. So you'll see me just select. It. just making it a little bigger and I want it to stand out from the rest of the text and I want the thank you to stand out so using so after highlighting it we're going to use the change of color the little a with the little rainbow underneath it they have the colors that go with your image so the it's not really gold but it's gold ish so we're just going to select that and then all the rest of the text will be black and I use somewhat of a similar process for my business cards, my regular size thank you cards. Um, I even make like gift card templates um, and I'll soon have like the Instagram posts, you know, like the sales and the giveaways and all those things. I do make those as well. I don't have any of those listed, but I do have some. So if you're interested, like I said, check my description box or if you would like for me to show you guys how I make these just let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely make a video for that for you and hopefully I can talk better you know guys I say this in every video words are hard <laughs> anyway as I was, you can see I want this one to say thank you for your purchase and then you know we love to see you with us we would love to see you with your purchase tag us so we can repost you and are you going to see me do something really unnecessary which is basically going back and capitalizing every single one of these which is so pointless for me to really be doing because the font that i'm going to use is going to capitalize all of it so pay no mind to this little unnecessary piece but yeah it's going to capitalize every single word so it's kind of it's kind of pointless so whenever I first started making these, it took me hours. Like my business cards, like the credit card business cards I make, they take me hours to make. This one probably only took me like 20, 25 minutes. Not a long time at all. 
super super easy to make really great if you're building your own business also really good money to make a template on etsy um i haven't used template but i'm thinking about giving it a try and then i'm just going and pulling out some of my social media's logos that i had saved so and then i'm just gonna erase the background another lovely thing about canva is that it just takes away the background for you it gets rid of the work and i'm going to do the same thing with the facebook image and i'm just going to bring them down to the size that i want Now, I'm making this one with my information, but if whenever I make it for like templates, I'll just put like handle so the person that, you know, purchases the template can just add their own information. Like I said, this one is for me. So this is my business name and my business Instagram and my business Facebook or whatever. <laughs> so I just choose the font that I want them to use. And I use a font that's editable, like I don't use the ones that I personally upload, that way they can edit it, you know, and have their own personalization to it. Now that I know I'm making something and I'm just, just making it for myself, I'll use whatever font I want, whatever backgrounds I want, whatever logos I want, like the things that you put in, they can't edit. So like my logos, not my logos, <laughs> well yeah, my logos, my Instagram and my Facebook, they wouldn't be able to edit. But everything else, except the background, everything else should be editable. So they can personalize it. So that's great whenever you're selling it, you know. Okay, so I'm going to start on my second one, and I'm just going to copy the background in the square from the first card. And this can be a front and a back card, or you can just choose whichever for a front face. And the wonderful thing about Canva is you can basically choose which ones you want to upload and which ones you don't, which ones you want to save, which ones you want to download. You can even get them to print it for you. So I think it's really awesome. And on this side, I did forget to add my the spy for website but i ended up going back afterwards and just adding it but it won't be in the video so sorry guys but it goes at the bottom of the white the white square that's where i ended up putting it it looked it plain to me and i couldn't remember what i wanted to put there <laughs> sorry guys i had like a little i don't know i, I just blinked out i guess <laughs> it's been a long long day but yeah so you can get in. This is just a coupon uh, that I wanted to add. So I did my front and back. I actually printed these out and I, I will show you guys how they look. But I figured that it would just be better to show you guys how I make them. <laughs> and I'm even going to show you guys how I print them. So, yeah, how I print them. <laughs> Y'all are going to get tired of me talking. Y'all are going to be like, just, just don't even post this no more. I'm sorry. I do apologize. But anyway. I couldn't decide on what I wanted to post to me because I did thanks 2021 and I thought it looked weird. I just ended up going with thank you. So these are my cards finished and now I'm just going to save them as a PNG 
and look at the other options you can save it as. I chose to save them as a PNG because I'm just going to plug them into Avery printing service. Avery, um, yeah, Avery printing service. So it's saving in. It's saved. We have the. Okay, so now we're going to switch over to Avery and I use 28371. That was the template I used and I selected the front and the back and then we're just going to upload those images that we had. So we're going to pull up the file and mine is just in my downloads. So I'm just going to select that and drag the front image in the front slot and the back in the back. And Avery is really simple to use. I use it all the time. So you basically just want to check it. Once you put this image down, though, you can't edit it in Avery. So I'm just showing you guys that by trying to like move something, it won't move because it's a PNG. You save that image. So if you don't like something, you have to go back to Canva and fix it. You can't fix it through Avery. So once you make sure this is what you want, you're just going to go ahead and select you know, the print part, preview and print. So once you have that how you want to, you can just go ahead and print it. You can get them to print it for you. You can print it yourself. And the same thing with Canva. You can get Canva to print it for you or you can print it yourself like this. I'm going to print it myself. So just going to preview it and print it. It comes out really small. And then, you know, if you have an account, it's going to ask you to save your image. You know, you pick if you just want to print the front page or the back page. I'm going to print both. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it just as some random thing. It doesn't really matter. And then it's going to pull up as a PDF. And then basically, you're done from there. You're going to print. Okay, so once the project is saved, open your PDF. Apparently, my internet was working really slow when I recorded this. <laughs> But this is the final image, product, printing pages, whatever you want to call it. They came out really nice. I love them. And like I said, if you're ever interested in because you don't want to make this yourself, please check out my Etsy store while I sell these templates. I think you can edit it however you want to. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.